Hi, I'm Morton Gans Pedersen, and you're watching Rovers Chat. Hello, and welcome back to Rovers Chat YouTube channel. We've done a review, now it's time for the play ratings and sit down and look at which player performed in the win over Huddersfield. If you want to check out the match reaction, head over to the YouTube channel. First video after this one, you'll be able to find it easy, easily done. Uh, if you want to leave your ratings below for each player, do them below. I'll like, I'll comment, do all that stuff on it. Really appreciate any interaction. So let's get into it. Thomas Kaminsky now. I've gone for a six. Didn't really have much to do. And I think that's hard to, to give him a rating. Otherwise, made the odd save after 70 minutes. But a simple six for him. An average rating from us. Up next, Callum Britton. I think he really got forward. Probably the best he's done in a while. You know, especially since the injury. He offered a threat. And I've gone for a seven for that reason. I think he was good defensively. Good getting forward. Especially down that night. He really pushed his way forward. So I've gone for a seven. I think a first goal was on its way for him after you know, a couple of chances at Middlesbrough and Coventry. Dom Hyam, I've gone for six. Given Tuesday night, you know, Tuesday night I think it was poor, really. This one much better. Kept Danny Ward out. He's got a good record against two others. Uh, just the same from Dom Hyam. Maybe not his best performance, but it kind of didn't have to be. You know, he weren't playing with all respect to the other team that was going to cause as much threat as others. So, you know, I think a six is fair for him. Danny Ayala, I've gone a six boots the ball away you know he's, I've said it for a bit though he's not a passing up defender he shouldn't be the one who should be after bringing the ball out of defence that's not his thing that's a Scott Wharton role so I think what Ayala does is I won't say the easy stuff it's known as the easy stuff you know the heading the booting away but it's not easy we've seen many defenders struggle with it before so I've gone for a six Harry Pickering I've gone for an eight actually I think he was really good Really good ball, even though Mark Fotheringham said it was clearance, never a clearance. It just worked really hard. So I think his attacking output's really improved. His defensive output's improved. Yes, there's bits to improve, but he's a young player in his second full season of championship football. You know, we're not expecting the finished product, and I think he really thrives in his JDT team. Uh, Lewis Travis, I went for a six. I think his passing went up to scratch, but passing is not his strength. He's in there to tackle, he's in there to boot plays, a bit like Jake Garrett is. Uh, really, really fought for everything. Got us forward well as well. You know, I think, I said it, I think it would have gained his scoring range if he pre season before lockdown. If he could add getting forward to his game, he'd go from an average midfielder to a really good midfielder. And he's kind of building on that, getting that going. There's still things to be improved on, but there is with all of this in the squad. So, the Morton, I went for a seven. I think he was really good in midfield. The way he controlled possessions, excellent. You know, pass the ball out wide, plays the ball inside a lot, can just change direction of play. I noticed that he was getting more involved in terms of the dirty side of the game, you know, winning the tackle to then get us forward rather than, you know, just being the passer. So I think a seven for Morton's fair. Up next, Sammy Smaddick to come for a six. I think he works all the time, doesn't he? That's his game. Worked hard, keeps putting the pressure on. Didn't really do anything in terms of that, but I think a six is fair for you know his influence in this game. Rain Hedges, I went for a six. I think he was good at getting this forward. He kind of plays a Rothwell role, doesn't he? He picked the ball up from deep and get us forward when they were struggling to do some of that. So I think he did that well. I think he's coming back in after fitness. You know, I think after the World Cup, depending on if he goes or not, I think he'll really continue to impress. And I think he'll have a really good second half of the season. We, you know, four weeks behind him, but fingers crossed he actually goes to the World Cup, you know, be a great, great thing for everyone involved, for the club, for Hedges, who knows whether we'll make it, we'll find out very soon, won't we? Raritan Diaz, I've gone for a seven, I think, I was worried early on when he got not, but he shut that off, got the goal, sent the kick the wrong way, really good from him, and that running in the 90th minute is exactly what we want from him, isn't it? He looks like he could play two matches back to back. The way his energy hits the levels are so high, even in the night of minute, I think he's a proper asset to this thing. And we won't sell him in January. I'm very convinced, unless someone comes in with an extraordinary amount, I think he's a role to play till the end of the season. And our chances of you know, getting anything out of this season in terms of playoffs or promotion are massively on him. Sam so Gallagher back in the squad, you know, I've gone for six. I think. He kind of struggled to get into the game, but what else was his physical side? You know, I think it's 10 wins out of 11 starts from this season. He has the talent, he has everything, and 
maybe he's going to be the player who doesn't get the spotlight as much because of Brereton Diaz. But he's one that's important to this team. So I think a six is fair. But his influence on the game, you know, really important. And substitutes just one because we only do him if he plays 75 minutes onwards. Scott Wharton, I've gone for a six. Come on to just nod the ball away. He's sub-invited pressure on the team, but it wasn't his fault. He was brought on to defend and change to invite that pressure. But he held out and kept us clean sheet, so I've gone for a six. Uh, let us know down below your ratings for each player. Just a quick one there. Don't want to go into it too much and don't think there's too much to analyse in terms of performances. But if you've enjoyed this, hit like, hit subscribe, leave a comment on your ratings. We'll be back again on Tuesday for the West Ham preview for the Cup. And then obviously building up to them during the week. So thanks for watching. Yeah.